Breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with the first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Aria is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Aria? Thank you. I'm Aria, reporting live from Lambson Key. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet, unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Aria, are you the Aria? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Hamish. What's happening there? Hey y'all, hey y'all, Hamish reporting live from the mothership of these creatures. They're really weird and not funny like me. I had a long boring chat with them and they seem a bit mad. And they have a few requests for us, now let's listen up. Hello creatures from the earth, I'm Oski. And I'm Gotnok. I'm Obi. We are from the planet Pegasus 6, from the amazing galaxy of the Yaki Way. We demand a couple of things from your interesting planet. First, we want Jay-Z. Secondly, we want raccoons. And last but not least, we want all your fancy perfume. You've got 24 hours. If you do not give us these things, you will all go extinct like the dinosaurs and we will make our citizens come to this disgusting planet. Whoa, that's a bit over the top. Oh, crap. We wouldn't put our prisoners, citizens in this horrible planet. That is all from us. Hope you have a horrible day. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to parliamentary reporter Alexis. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up, be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tēnā koutou katoa. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today, then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and will move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile, and quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? Well, I think the first thing we all need to be doing is obviously feed them. I mean, they've come all this way with here without food, so they must be hungry. That's completely foolish, because according to my calculations, what we should be doing is sending a rocket ship full of acid and melting those deformed delinquents into ashes. You're so stupid. We should 100% feed them. I mean, think about it. Um, actually... There is no chance that you are coming into my birthday party because they have four stomachs and also they don't deserve to live. We shall call the exterminators and exterminate them from existence. Exactly, you idiot. Of course they don't want to be hungry. They have four stomachs. They're so cute and they deserve to be here. Well, so much for the opinion of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? Guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's take a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Maya. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there is outrage as the aliens try to knock over the sky tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. 
And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement. Back to you, Maya and Maddie. Finally, we interview someone who claims they've had a close encounter with these creatures from outer space. Our reporter Mia is with that person now. I'm here with Squish, who says they were once abducted by aliens. Hello, and thank you for joining us. This alien invasion must stir up some painful memories for you. What are these creatures from outer space really like? They took me from my house when I was watching Love Island. They're multicolored and ugly creatures. Look. They locked me up and did experiments on me. Ugh. How has this affected you? I haven't been outside in days since the last attack on my spaceship. If you don't know, I'm an astronaut. And finally, Squish, as a person of experience with extraterrestrials, what do you think we should be doing? Well, you should run away really fast and fart to get an extra boost. And avoid eye contact because it will lead to awkwardness and exploding. Thank you very much for your time, Squish. Back to the studio. Thanks, Mia. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick. All the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. And may these terrifying and foul-smelling creatures have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow, if there is one.